Dwayne Vermeulen has rapidly become the linchpin of the Springbok pack, a fact recognized by the number eight's nomination for World Player of the Year. Like many of the great Springboks down the years, his natural strength stems from a rural upbringing. Grew up on the farm. There's never time for watching TV and stuff like that. It's always get up early, go to the sheep, go yeah, wherever. But uh, it was always outdoors. It was never, never indoors. And I did um, all the sports you can think of. Um, I even tried hammer throw and whatever. But uh, yeah, I tried everything. I always wanted to play rugby. It wasn't always a dream to play for Springboks. Uh, later on, it developed, and and I wanted to play for the Springboks. And uh, yeah, now now it, you want to play a World Cup. So hopefully, I'll be able to to be in that team and uh, and, and play my first World Cup. The 28-year-old's path to international rugby has been plagued by setbacks and injury. It kind of felt like if it didn't happen that that year in 2012 or or maybe 2013, then I would have said, listen, uh, I'm maybe done, or maybe see what else I can do. But uh, Einiger saw me and um, sat down with me and he said, listen, um, you, are, you are gonna play for the box. I just can't say when. And uh, that when actually came a lot earlier than I thought. His attitude to the professional game has been shaped by his childhood. I don't really like a gym. Growing up on a farm, you do a lot of different stuff that you can link to gym, picking up food for the animals and stuff like that. So I think that was my, that was my gym in the younger days. His recent entry into the ranks of fatherhood hasn't exactly softened his approach to the game. I've never felt scared on the pitch and, and nothing like that. If you're used to it, it's, it's actually so much fun. It's what I love. I think if you love doing something, you'll never be scared. You just gotta go out there and enjoy it. The pressure kind of gives you that, that energy you, you wanna show on the field, on the pitch, and you just wanna show everyone what's, what's going inside of you. I love defense, and with carrying ball, I, I like running into people. Rugby is a collision sport, otherwise I could have gone and played chess or tennis or whatever. If it's a very hard-paced game, I don't really hurt that much because uh, I'm not one of the quickest guys out there. If it's a slow, heavy field and collisions running into each other, yeah, you, you really do feel it and sometimes it's difficult to get out of bed. Having a little one uh, makes it, <laughs> you know, makes it uh, a lot easier to get out of bed. And as the World Cup approaches, he's comforted by the sight of some South African greats standing next to him. They've got a hell of a lot of experience. I think Victor at 37 still playing rugby is 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 amazing. And uh, yes, I'd love to play rugby till 37, though, but I don't know if I, if my body will uh, will keep up. But. Uh, that's, that's, that's definitely things that, uh, that motivate you, so it's, it's nice to have them around.